Welcome, and in this video, I'll be unboxing Pandemic the board game, giving a brief overview of the components, as well as having a look at what you can do in the game. So, a look at the back. Game design, Matt Leacock, artwork, Chris Williams, development, Zedman Games. Incidentally, this is the second edition where you get two new rolls. So, Come to it. Pandemic rules. Here's the board. Put it out for everyone to see. So this is a two to four player game where you have to prevent the outbreak and spread of infection and find a cure for four diseases. It's definitely a cooperative game. So let's have a look at the components then. We've got some disease cubes here. Got some markers. These are the player pieces, each one representing a specific role. These ones are the different diseases, as well as the infection marker. Blue disease cubes, red disease cubes, yellow disease cubes. cards so you've got your epidemic cards got cards representing all of the cities in this game. You've got your event cards that you can play. Let's have a look at the other pack.
these are your player guides telling you what you can do these are the roles so each one gives you a specific ability got your medic dispatcher operations expert scientist researcher contingency planner and quarantine specialist these cards represent possible infections that can happen in each city and it also tells you which colour disease will be spreading so you got your yellows there, black, blue and red so here's an example of a start of the game already some of the cities have been infected with these infection disease cubes so here's the blue ones got some black ones here the red ones here's some yellow ones players get dealt with a few cards at the start of the game as well you can use these to directly travel to the city it's named, and you discard that card. You can also move around wherever you are, interconnecting cities, like so. If you're on a specific city and you own that card, then you can pass that card to another player if he's on that city as well. Another thing you can do is treat the disease, removing one cube wherever you are. You can also build a research lab. There's six here. These are the markers I was showing you earlier. So you can build one there. You can also travel between research stations as well. So if there was one here and you were here, you could easily move there using one of your actions. You've got a limited number of actions, so use them wisely. And lastly, if you've managed to collect five cards of the same colour and you're on a research station, you can cure one of the diseases, as you can see these represent the four colored diseases, black, red, blue, yellow so you place it there if you've cured yellow for example and if you've removed all of the yellow disease cubes and you have cured it then you can turn it over so it's been eradicated so it can't come back So the second part of a player's turn is to draw cards. So you draw two, one each in turn. So normally they'll give you, these player cards will just give you an extra city, give you more options. Sometimes you can get an event card. I'll show you. These event cards can help you out. You can use them at any time, any player can use their event card the epidemic card here if drawn is pretty bad it means you take one card from the bottom of the infection deck put three cubes on that city with that colour take all these cards from the discard shuffle them up them back on the infection pile again.
if you've had an epidemic, then you raise that by one. Then, when you come to the infection stage, you take a number of these cards to the infection rate, and you put one disease cube on each of these cities of that colour. The last thing that can happen is an outbreak, and that happens when you have more than three cubes on the city. So if I drew this as my infection, then I would have four cubes. But instead of playing the fourth cube, each surrounding interconnecting city receives one disease cube of that color. So you can easily have a chain reaction of multiple infections. There are several ways you can lose the game. If the number of outbreaks goes to 8, that's one too many and you've lost. Can't place any more disease cubes? It's game over. Can't draw any cards? You've lost. Remember, it's a team game, so use all your abilities, and don't forget any event cards that you pick up. It can be pretty tough dealing with several outbreaks, and you've got to trade the right cards at the beginning of the game, and you'll be able to pull through. Hopefully you can survive pandemic. Thanks for watching.